Today I'm going to be sharing with you a simple meal preparation of the food we eat in a day. And if you guys have not subscribed to our channel, please do! First thing is breakfast and this is a tuna sandwich, but before that you have to make a tuna salad. First thing is you need to chop all these herbs and vegetables that you need. Here I have tomatoes, onions, and green onion. Just chop them into small pieces and that's good to go. And to add crisps to your salad, don't forget to include some carrots. Chop them into tiny pieces. After that, you have to drain your tuna because we don't need the liquid part of that. Once it's drained, it's time for you to add your other ingredients here. Your tomatoes, your onions, or the green onions, or the carrot, or whatever vegetables you're using, it's perfectly fine. And for its flavor, I like adding a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. There's no exact measurement really, it's all up to you how much you want to put. And of course, don't forget to add a spoon or two maybe of your favorite mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard. It's all up to you how much you want to put into this one and then give it a mix. Now that your salad is ready, it's time to prepare this sandwich. Get your bread and serve it. I like adding some lettuce before putting my tuna salad into my sandwich. I don't know if you guys like this, but it's totally up to you. You can use any other type of greens just to add a little bit of crisp to your sandwich. And this is it! It's ready! Here's another option for you guys for breakfast, just in case you didn't have tuna for tuna sandwich. This one is another simple and very easy to prepare and you don't need to find another things because most of these are just your basic staples in the kitchen. Here I only have one egg because I think that's enough and I just add some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumber. Actually, you can add any vegetables that you like guys. That totally depends on you. And one more thing, don't forget to drizzle it with a little bit of sauce. You can use any sauce which suits your taste. This time, I am using Tabasco because it's my favorite. And that's it, it's done! Now it's time for lunch and this is the first thing that I prepare, crispy pork belly. This is actually oven baked and this is how I serve them. I just add a little bit of lettuce, tomatoes, and sauce, and that's it! Look at that, it's really mouth-watering. Here's another menu for lunch. I actually prepared two because whatever is left will be served for dinner. And besides, I have kids to eat. I cannot really give them the pork or the crispy pork, so that's why I prefer to have another option for them. And this is the pork bones with vegetables. Here, what you need to do is just prepare all the ingredients that you need, just like the carrots, the potatoes, the onions, the ginger, slice them, and then wash them. Here's another favorite vegetable of ours. In the Philippines, we call this malunggay, but if you don't have this in your kitchen, then it's totally fine. You can use any other vegetable that you have. I also like to add some broccoli because my kids love broccoli so much. Don't forget to wash your vegetables. And this is it. Here are all the ingredients that you need. cooking time first thing is you need to add your pork first in the boiling water and let it boil for a while 
I like my pork to be really cooked, that's why I wait 10 to 20 minutes before adding the potatoes, the carrots, and other vegetables. Wait for 5 minutes so your vegetables will be a bit soft and this time you can add your salt or pepper, just a little. And give it a mix. After that, add your malungkay and broccoli and a little bit of salt if needed. Then wait for 2 minutes and then you can turn off your stove. And yes, your vegetable soup is done. I'm sure your kids would love this too. Now I can't wait for you guys to try any of these recipes at home and thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!